Spiritual Renewal Reflection for Wednesday, August the 30th, 2023. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for the day says, Lord God, do not destroy your people, your very own possession whom you redeem in your greatness, whom you brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Deuteronomy chapter 9 and verse 26. The accompanying doctrinal text is Romans 8 and verse 32. It reads as follows, He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not with him also give us everything else? As we recall this memorable event of spiritual baptism in the Moravian Church, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword. I read it for us again from the New Living Translation. I prayed to the Lord and said, O Sovereign Lord, do not destroy them. They are your own people. They are your special possession, whom you redeem from Egypt by your mighty power and your strong hand. In this chapter, Moses intercedes with God on behalf of a stiff-necked and disobedient people who God had rescued out of Egyptian slavery. They turned away from him at Mount Sinai. They doubted him at the Jordan. Yet, in spite of all of this, we see God's grace and mercy shining through, and God is again giving the people another chance to claim the land he had promised to Abraham so long ago. Similarly, we are reminded of God's goodness to our Moravian ancestors, that after many years of persecution, they found rest on the grounds of Kung Zinzendorf's estate. But rather than thanking God and embracing each other, quarrels and discontent broke out within the community. And it's at this point that God demonstrated his love and his grace and his mercy by outpouring his Holy Spirit upon them. And on that day, August 13th, 1727, it is said that love permeated the hearts of all those who were there. And out of that came the missionary movement of our Moravian brothers, of which we are beneficiaries. They came to the West Indies, bringing the word of God because of what happened on that day. Brothers and sisters, as God's elect, we too are chosen for good works. And even though we may often fail him, he has never and will never fail us. The Apostle Peter reminds us in his first epistle, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. That's 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. God has chosen us and called us into his service, like he did the Israelites, like he did with our Moravian ancestors. Let us therefore honor him by serving and worshiping him faithfully. He has promised us overwhelming victory, for we are more than conquerors through him. Paul, writing in his first letter to the Thessalonians, tells them this, God will make this happen, for he who calls you is faithful. Let us pray. Our loving God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness towards us. You have called us, you have chosen us before the foundation of the world. And at times, Lord God, we fail you, and we fail you miserably. But you are merciful and a gracious God. And when we return to you, you welcome us back. And so as the Israelites came back to you, you took them into that land of promise that you promised to Abraham so long ago. As our Moravian ancestors honored you and worshiped you, you used them and by extension us to continue that great work of sharing your message to those who still need to hear your message. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, and we ask that you would continue now to go before us, continue to bless us, guide us, direct us, and may we learn to be faithful to you as you are to us. Amen.